I'd actually probably go deeper in this place. I'd go to like the last floor here, but after a while you start fighting zombies and that annoys me. Wow. And you, you should, I don't know, if you've read the titles of some of my videos, you should know I don't like zombies. This is going by pretty quickly. I've only been here in this place for about like a minute or two. And I put fire keys. I've noticed that I target everything before I kill it. No matter what it is, I, I always target it before I kill it. I don't know why. They're all dead. I think that was the 10th floor. So I think now, um, yeah. Give me your skull necklace. You actually notice something, um, the skull necklace they're wearing, it actually disappears from them. Uh, oh yeah? Okay. I don't like moblins. They're kind of annoying. In some cases, a little bit overpowered. Just a little. It's like a hundred there. I now need about another three hundred ish. I gotta clip the boomerang. Actually I probably should have been picking up their golden feathers. Our next time I see one, I'll, I might do that. Oh, that's why I target things. The reason I stun them first is because they disappear into the ground and I try to save time. Those things are so easy. easy run. I don't understand how the boomerang kills them, but your sword doesn't in one shot. Uh, I don't see what possessed them to keep those guys. Oops. They're all dead. Let's move on. I think as you go on deeper, the there's more rupees for you. I don't like these guys. So after a while, they start spitting out those really annoying things that impede your movement. <sighs> Thank you.
Yeah, I don't care about their golden feathers. Ah, what the heck? What the heck? Something tells me you can't get their golden feather after they, uh... Yeah, the guy, the guy, I don't think I, actually I think I was about to tell you, but I just kind of stopped talking in the middle of my sentence. Yeah, see, if you hit them in mid-jump, they do that, and it's away from them to get up. Get up. Get up, so I can tell you. I actually like their weapon. Um, yeah, the guy for 20 golden feathers, he gives you, uh, orange rupee. Or at least that's what life told me. By life, I mean the internet. I don't know, my information I got on this game from the internet has been pretty reliable so far. Oh crap, I remember not liking this one. I remember not liking this fight. the hurricane spinning a fight yet. Or at least not in an important fight. Alright, good, more money. What we came here for. Got purple there. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna meet our quota. Or at least come pretty close. If not, I might go down another 10 floors. I really hope those were, uh... I don't know, whatever. If they were summoning those ropes, that would suck, because... I don't know, you remember what happened last time I fought one of those. I feel good I've become a fighting this. I'm gonna ho hope I can get one without getting hurt at all. There it is. Got it. These are like so much more annoying, or I mean less annoying in a the uh, previous games. I don't know why, they just kind of were. Right, I'm gonna bring my own bombs. It's always... It's a lot more convenient than having to pick up the bomb flowers. And you can pull them out a lot faster. I think that the yellow chews, they can drop either color chew. I mean, um, they drop like any color jelly except blue, obviously. Which is, which becomes annoying after a while. But. I hate all the bubble enemies. Sure those. 
As I probably should have told you, they're the little skull guys. So pretty fun. And then we go down deeper. As I said before, kill these guys first before attempting to fight the dark nut. Because they'll be a problem. Here's his sword against him. I think he beats you off to get his sword back, which is kind of funny. He wanted his sword back, but he can't have it, because, um, 